Okay. Morning, everyone. Uh, untuk sales budget, okay, we look at the question. Okay, example one. Syarikat Pesona Alam expects sales volume to be 4,000 units in the first quarter with 600 units increase in each succeeding next quarter. That means every next quarter, uh, sales unit akan bertambah 600 units okay and the sales price per unit is 55 ringgit okay so we are supposed to prepare the sales budget for the year ended 31st december 2021 right so in your sales budget make sure you have the top uh, the name of the company persona alam sembrahat and then the name of the budget which is sales budget and then uh, the period uh, the accounting period we are doing the uh, sales budget, which is for the year ended 31st December 2021 or 2022, uh, uh, depending on the question, right? Okay, so since this question is doing for next quarter, that means untuk kamu punya sales budget, you will have four quarters. So, but we are doing it for one year. So, one year is 12 months. So, for 12 months, that means we have four quarters. All right. So, quarter one, quarter two, three, and four. And the last column will be the total column. All right. So, let's say you are doing it for the first quarter of 2021. So, in your budget, here will be January. February, March, and the fourth column will be your total. So it all depends on the question. So not necessarily every time it will be uh, just the numbers of the quarters. Okay. All right. So the first thing that you need to do, Yela, write the expected unit sales. Okay. So for the first item, the unit sales for the first quarter is 4,000. So, kita akan masukkan 4,000 on in the first quarter of the sales budget. Alright. And dia exit every month with a total of 600. So, that means for the next quarter, Madam akan tambah another 600 to the remaining first quarter. That will be 4,600. Okay. Third quarter akan tambah lagi 600 from the previous quarters. That means that will be 5,000. 5,200 okay and the last quarter will be an additional of uh, 600 and then you have the total for the whole year which is 19,600 ringgit okay all right so as you all know the selling price is 55 ringgit per unit okay so in the selling price per unit column all right, I will write down the price for one unit, which is 55 ringgit. Okay, all right. And then in the column, in the total column, we do not add up the amount of 55 ringgit. Ni. So, but they still refer to selling price per unit. Okay, so expected sales for unit per unit, this is for each quarter. And expected sales unit for this column is for the whole year. That's why kita add up. Kita dapat 19,600. Tapi the selling price per unit in RM, they remain the same amount which is 55. That is why the cut column yang total tu, I will only write down 55 ringgit. So about this one, okay, is still referring to selling price, selling price per unit. Okay, alright. So the sales total for every quarter will be your sales unit for the quarter. Okay, multiply by the sales unit price. Okay, so kita akan darab 55 ringgit with all the sales unit in every quarter. Okay, and towards the end, in the total column, kita akan dapatkan total sales which is RM times unit. Okay, so here the amount will be 1 million, all right, uh, and 78,000, all right. So, this one is in RM, okay. This part here, the first part here, 
Alright, I'll put a color to it so that you won't get uh, mistaken. Okay, yang the one that I put in grey is in unit. Okay, tapi yang dekat bahagian bawah ni, alright, these two item yang di bawah ni, that is in RM. Okay, so overall for your sales unit, uh, for your sales, uh, expected sales for the year 2021, will be 1,078,000 ringgit. Okay? Alright. So, now, kita dah tahu how much. Okay? We are supposed to gain or we are supposed to get for our sales for the year 2021. Okay? So, that means for the coming year, alright, I will need to produce Okay? I will need to produce this much amount of finished goods so that I am able to achieve this much amount of sales. Okay, so from here baru kita boleh fikir berapa unit kita akan produce in your production, production budget. Okay, alright. So now we go to your production budget. Okay, in your production budget, are a few things that you need to know. Okay, the first thing that you need to understand in budget, kita ada ending inventory policy. Alright, so ending inventory policy ni, uh, you akan jumpa dalam production budget and the other budget is the direct material budgets. So ending inventory policy ni is a policy that is used throughout the um, the. Uh, preparing of the budget for the company. So, memang setiap kali dia akan guna policy yang sama lah. Alright. So, policy tu uh, digunakan sebenarnya untuk mengira ending inventory pada satu-satu masa. Alright. Okay. So, as you can see here. Okay. So, as you can see here. The first item in the production budget, okay, so as usual, so but we are doing the same uh, for the same company, so tajuk mesti ada, alright, and we are doing for the same quarters, so uh, on top of the budget, we are still using quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, and quarter 4, okay, so the first item that you need to fill up here is the expected unit sales, okay, so expected unit sales is actually taken from here. Okay. So, these figures yang Madam letak dalam bentuk, dalam warna kelabu ni will be carried forward. Okay. And you akan masukkan di sini. Sebab from the expected unit sales, we will know how many more finished units you need to produce for the coming year. Okay, so your expected unit sales adalah nilai yang kita ambil daripada the previous budget. Okay, so I am supposed to prepare, okay, I am supposed to sell 19,600 units of finished goods in the year 2021. So, Madam nak kena tahu berapa banyak Madam kena produce. Alright, okay. So, now, if you can see in the question, dia kata it can meet future sales requirement by maintaining an ending inventory equals to 20% okay of the next quarter budgeted sales volume right so maksudnya the first quarter punya ending inventory will be 20% from the next quarter budgeted sales okay so the ending inventory for quarter 2 we will also we will also be doing the same thing, which is we will calculate uh, the ending inventory equals to twenty percent from the budgeted sales volume for quarter three. Okay, all right. So as you can see here, all right. So kalau kita ada four thousand six hundred here, that means twenty percent from four thousand. 600 is actually 920. So that is taken from the next quarter sales 
volume. Okay, so maksudnya second quarter pun we will be doing the same. Okay, kita akan ambil 20% from 5,200. Okay, so dia akan jadi 1,040 ringgit. Okay, for the third quarter, the ending inventory is 20% from here. Okay, so we will take the amount 20% from 5,800. So, the amount taken is actually 1,160. Okay. So, how about quarter 4? Sebab kita tak ada sales unit untuk the next quarter. Tapi kita faham, the policy of the company is setiap quarter, dia punya sales unit akan meningkat sebanyak 600 unit. So, that means untuk 2022, untuk first quarter. Alright. Dia punya sales unit will be 5,800 plus 600 units. Okay, so as you can see here, for the next quarter, which is first quarter of 2022, okay, your sales unit ialah 5,800 campur 600 unit, which is 6,400. Okay, so the amount for the ending inventory in quarter 4 will be taken from here 20% out of 6400 so you akan dapat 1000 sorry 1280 okay all right so this is the expected unit sales i mean that is the total tapi for this column here is actually referring to ending inventory. So the ending inventory for 2021 will be the amount that is listed in the fourth quarter. So your ending inventory adalah figure terakhir dalam column ending inventory which is during the fourth quarter. Okay, so here untuk ending inventory, Madam akan letak Nilai yang sama dengan nilai fourth quarter, which is 1,280. Okay, so the required unit untuk quarter pertama ialah expected unit sales plus dengan desired ending inventory. So you'll get the total of 4,920, which is 4,000 plus 920. Okay. Alright, and then here, sama juga, kita akan total up. Okay, sebab so, this is the total of the required unit. So, you just total up everything until the total column here. Alright, okay. So, that is for 2021. 20, okay, and then here, you have the beginning inventory. So, beginning inventory is actually taken from your from your ending inventory. Okay, so kalau awak tengok dekat sini, alright, your ending inventory for first quarter, automatically dia akan jadi beginning inventory for the next quarter. So, here yang kuning ni semua will be the beginning inventory for the next quarter. But how about the first quarter? Okay, the first quarter, kalau kamu faham, okay, nilai dia, Kalau kita faham, okay, in the year 2020, by the fourth quarter, okay, let's say you have another column here, the ending inventory is actually taken 20% from here. Betul tak? Alright, so 20% from 4,000 is actually 800. Okay, so kalau kamu tengok, alright, that is why. Bila kita dah dapat ending inventory untuk quarter terakhir 2020, automatically on ending inventory ni akan jadi beginning inventory untuk first quarter 2021. Okay, so here your beginning inventory ialah 800. Okay, alright and this part here, you just tarik saja daripada the previous ending inventory from the previous uh, Quarter. So, dekat sini, this column here is actually referring to beginning inventory. So, beginning inventory, Madam akan ambil only the first value 
in the first quarter, which is 800. Okay, so your beginning inventory here is 800 ringgit. Okay, alright. Oh, sorry, 800 unit. Okay, alright. So your production unit will be your total required unit here. Kita akan minus dengan, okay, kita akan minus dengan lapan ratus ni, okay. So your production unit yang perlu di produce pada setiap quarter will be this item, okay. So empat ribu. As you see, 4,920 minus 800 is 4,120 uh, unit. Okay, so we'll be doing the same thing here. And then, in the total column pun sama sebenarnya. Okay, kalau you tengok, dia akan tali lah. Alright, so expected unit sales for the year 2021 is 19,600. Plus ending inventory, which is 1,280. So, you get a total of 20,880 units minus beginning inventory, which is 800. So, the production unit that I am supposed to produce for the year 2021 will be 20,080 units.